Good morning, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. Uh, it's a tie here between these two. I just don't even know which one we should do. They rate the same. They look the same. They might both work, but I don't know. Just don't know which one we should be watching here because they really are so similar. Let's just watch them both. So if you're if you're here for the trial or if you're here for the open house, I would I, I wouldn't do anything today. It's not going to be easy to follow me today uh, because I'm going to watch two things and I don't know which one I'm going to do. Uh, so therefore, I would just observe because <clears throat> um, I, I really don't know what I'm going to do and I won't know until the open. So I'm going to watch two things here: GIS and Love, and I don't know which one I'm going to do. They both rate the same for my system, and I really want now till they open and start going. <clears throat> Do bods the volume? I don't know what you're trying to say by that. I mean, the, the, the fact that this has more volume, the other one is lettuce volume, doesn't, doesn't make me like one or the other or anything. <clears throat> it's, I mean, these are both have plenty of volume here. So either way, quick trade here in the morning, Fed announced it this afternoon, anything can happen, and what, we don't know. Um, we could fall, we could, uh, we could rally, we could go crazy, jerk around. I just think the best thing is to be flat all trades here before, you know, before lunch. But anyways, I always focus on the morning anyways. Uh, Market still looks heavy, even though we didn't collapse yesterday. It still looks heavy, but with the Fed announcement this afternoon, if we want to rally, we're going to rally. Facebook was a great call, just a great call yesterday. So hopefully everyone took advantage of that and still looks lower today. But if you did the option and got out, I would just leave it. And I really have absolutely no idea which one we should do here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and if you're here for the open house, I would just observe because it's not going to be easy to follow today. So I have GS, GIS up as the main one, love in the middle, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to do love, so. That's the story. I wouldn't jump the gun on either one though today, FYI.
Okay, don't have the entry yet, GIS. Just wait. Stop's going to be forty five forty five. It's not going to be small. I can drop this right now. Let's just stick with this one here. So let's do, no, that's all. Wait. No, not at anything. Just wait. Just wait. Okay, love. Ninety nine by sixty. Ninety nine by sixty love. Ninety nine by sixty love. Here, take it. Take it if you want it. Get the stop in at sixty. This is gonna be here. You can do it right here. You can do it right now. It didn't hit ninety nine, but you could be in it. Sixty is the stop. Love. Love. First target's fifty seven. You could be in it. Here, here it goes. And let me just look at this one. I just really didn't know what I was doing, and this is going to set up too. So you could do them both. I'm not, but you could. We just did the one that hit first. Here, here. Do, 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 do. Love, love. 57.50. We have to watch here. It's going to go right down. Thank you. They're both going to work. Both rated good. Here, love. Love, love, love. Seven. All right. They're both going to work. They're both going to work, and I, you really could do them both, but I'm not going to do that. But you could. Um, you absolutely could. And this is already going. All right, so 5750 really was the first number. I, it bounced in there, didn't get out of any, but if you did, that's fine. Um, in this, waiting. I thought this was gonna be whippy. And if it sets up again, I'll call it. Up again. Okay, love, we're in it. If you got out of some, that was fine. I expected it to go right down and break 50. It didn't. Didn't get out of any. Bounced up quick. This is a little whippy. Stop is in. Not moving it. Even gave it probably more room than we needed to. Okay, if you want to do this again or do an ad, you could. I'll give you the numbers whenever I get them. Actually, we could have, we could have got all out and redone it. I didn't know that, but here, 15. 15 by 60 if you want it, love, if you didn't do it. Didn't hit yet, but we could have actually got out and redone it completely and done two trades in it. I didn't know it was going to bounce back this big.
and this flipped. All right. All right, sticking with what I got here, 15, you could do a new trade if you got all out. I mean, again, you know, you don't know where these things are gonna go immediately as far as the bounce backs, but it looks great. Stops at the right place. 15, you can add, I'm not gonna do that. Don't feel the reason to be aggressive today with a Fed meeting. Don't think the market goes anywhere really this morning. And if it does, it's gonna be down. So based on that, that would be good for this little thing here. Here we go, love. So let's check where that really bounced. So it was 57.57. 57. It's nothing. Facebook doing? It's on again. Is anyone still in the option trade? I don't think you should be, but if I wonder if anybody is. Uh, you know, I don't think you should be, but I wonder if anyone is. Is anyone still in the Facebook option I called in the letter yesterday? Yes or no? Write it in the room. Love's got to break 58. Don't know what time it happens. Now, 940, 945. Once it does, we'll be back down near the low. Gordon got out of half. Frisco is still in it, or you're not still in it. Dubaz is out. Scharzinger Devil's money got out. That was a good decision. Frisco's not out. All right. Green Maverick got in it late. You're going to bail now. I, I, I don't think you need to bail now if you're still in it. No, I don't think you need to bail now. It looks lower. But I think if you did the trade when I called it yesterday, you got out in the drop. But I don't see any reason to bail. It's lower. I mean, it is. Here, under 58 love. And I, I'm absolutely out. If it doesn't break that area that it just bounced up earlier. Absolutely. So... No piggies today, whatever it is, it is. It's been, a, it's been a good week. I'm on point. CJ got out of it. If you're still on Facebook, just let it drop. It's going to drop. You've got a couple of weeks. But I'm saying when you see something that I call, even if I give more time to the option, um, there's no reason to hold it if it has a massive move on the day that I call it. I mean, just get out. Like Shower Singer said, double your money out. Boom. Don't even think. Some of you are thinking too much. Galahad is thinking way too much. Remember the monkey. Here, love. Yeah, it's trying to hang on to that area. What time is the number? Gordon's being a monkey and he's making money. He's a rich monkey. All right, let's look here and see what's happening of these. Uh, today is Thursday or Friday? No, today's Wednesday. <laughs> no. 10 o'clock, 10.30. So we got two numbers. Here we go. Love. Love me some love. 10 o'clock and 10.30. I wonder if all the flights are canceled today because of the storm. Speaking of love, here, another nice call. All right, pay attention. If it doesn't break the low, I'm out. Day done. If it does, we'll follow it down. Could collapse if it breaks that area, but it's really, that area was nothing. I mean, there would have been no reason for me to think to get out of that area other than it just dropped really fast, but I didn't think it would bounce back all the way up, but it did. Doesn't matter. We're in it. You like it. If you added, fine. That would have been aggressive on a day like today, but 
Facebook was something to be aggressive on. And this is still lower, but I don't know what it's going to do today. Speaking of which, Oracle, what did this do here? It went nowhere yesterday, never went red, which I said it would not. We got off of it. Another great decision to just move right off of this because if we had done this, it would never, it never worked. It's not even working right today. And this is a slow road to China. Here, love. I remember this was with me. I did remember that. I would have preferred to do GIS, but this set up first and then that flips. So this was a good decision, but I, I remember that this stock is whippy. Machines, 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 machines. Actually, you can see it in the chart. There's more tails here than you'd normally see. This is all, this is heavily traded by machines. Look at all the tails today. Tails, 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 tails. It's machine trading. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. Look at the tails today. This is just heavily, heavily, heavily traded by machines. It's not like we don't do stuff like that all the time, but it's like this is like more machines than people trading this. So it, it, it makes the whip. It makes the whip. It makes the fast bounces, and it also makes the tails. So it looks like the fast one was immediately. So we gotta wait a little bit more. I just don't know what the market's gonna do here today. It'll be very interesting. It could be very wild. We'll just be observing. Let's look at everything else. Amazon back up near 1600, it's crazy. Gotta wait on love. Any questions from anyone about anything? Anybody did anything else? What was the other one? CRM wasn't crazy about that. Let's look at it. Oof, the wild. Uh, FDX wasn't crazy about that. Not doing anything here. Is there any other ones? Any other questions from anyone? This is working. Let's not miss our exit here, love. Very important to stop trading in the morning today because of the Fed announcement, whether you're long or short. Here. I tell you, this weekend was the first weekend, actually, no, the last week, I really noticed since Amazon took over Whole Foods, it's gone downhill. It is just completely gone downhill in New York. The shelves aren't stocked. Regular things you're supposed to have, they don't even have. I mean, for four days I went in there, the shelves were empty. It was not during a snowstorm. Customer service is terrible. Horrible for Whole Foods that they sold out to Amazon. The store will never be the same. It's the first since the takeover that I've really noticed it. It's just going to pot. It's unfortunate. It's just too bad. It was a really nice store and it's going to pot. Maybe I'll have to move to Trader Joe's or something. Because Whole Foods is just, I, I, first of all, the store was dirty, a mess. The shelves weren't stocked with regular items. 
I mean, I, I was appalled. Went there twice in last week, and once with my dad, and he even noticed it. And, and I was like, yep, since the takeover. It used to be a really nice store. Amazon's just too big. It's no quality. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, price action in the Facebook. Yeah, I did get here. Hold on. I don't want to move off of this now because this is going. Um, the Facebook, I, only one person did their homework in the market. Actually, only one person did their homework in the market, Green Maverick, which I did write you back. I don't know if you saw it, Green Maverick. Um, no one else, no one else said it. You can say it right now. If you want to say it now, you can tell me why. I don't want to move off of this and look at anything though until we're out of this. But no one else even emailed me, unless you want to tell me now. Why was the market so bearish two days ago? Monday it was, I believe. Today's Wednesday? Yes. Man, this is taking so long. Yeah, a lot of you said stuff yesterday, or Gordon, you did. It wasn't what I was thinking. It wasn't it wasn't incorrect. They were correct observations, but it wasn't what I was thinking when I looked at the market. And no one said it yet, actually. We should break the low. We should break the low in this, which is 57, but we might bounce right off of 50, because remember, this is a whip monster. It's whippy and it's traded by heavily by machines. So don't let 20 cents, 25 cents even get away from you in this. Give it a chance to get down there, but don't let it get away from you. Green Maverick's getting it, but I gave him a clue in the email. Oh, we'll go over that in a minute. As soon as we're out of this thing, which hopefully will be in one minute. <laughs> 60 seconds or less, hurry. Yeah, I gave you the clue, but it's I, I, I think it's obvious and not one person said it. I'm glad you got it with the clue. Barry, are you here? Did you do the Facebook option? I forgot to check in with you yesterday. I see you in there. Did you do it or not? I hope you did. You cannot, people cannot miss these trades that I'm calling that are huge, huge on the day. Like you can't miss these trades. Galahad didn't do it, which was crazy town. Don't miss these trades that I'm calling. It's, it's I'm just throwing them in your lap. Right, Barry, I hope you did it. Answer me though. Here, love under the low. Da, 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 do, do. Here, love 57. And literally, if it doesn't break it, I am out. It's going to break it. Here. Hmm. 
There it goes, love. Nice call. Man, am I good. Focus. It's gonna drop to 57, but I don't wanna suffer through a bounce back. Your call here, my hand is on the button. Out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I am not gonna waste my round today. I'm out, done. It, I, I, I'm not, this probably goes to 57. I have no patience anymore with this. I'm not gonna let this rally back in the 80s. If you're in it, you're in it. 57 looks good. Done. Yay. If you're still in it, you could bar 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 in if you want. Just keep in mind, it's very whippy. Let's look at the market. I mean, it looks good. But it's very whippy. Market, love. You could put a stop over 60, but I think it's gonna take you out. So if you really, really, really wanna hold it, down to 57, go for it, but you really can't move the stop. Great call, Melissa, thanks. You're welcome, Pyro. Barry didn't answer me. Did you do the Facebook option? Here, love, watch 50. It could bounce at 50. If you get it down, a couple more pennies. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Or like I said, here or there? There, it just broke 50. If I hadn't gotten out before, I would have gotten out right there. Time of the day is 9.52. All right. Great job, everyone. Is anyone still in it? If you are, literally, you think it's going to 57, which I thought it was here. But this whole situation, the whippiness of it, unknown of the market, I said, screw it. And so I was watching, watching, watching. It did end up breaking 50 by a couple cents. It, it, you know, Again, I think this is lower today. But when is it going to go all the way down? That I can't say. Okay. Could take till noon. 11. Could take another hour. But it looks great. Koala bear still in it? Here. Next number even 25, 20. If it breaks 40, you might get it down there. Again, or you put the stop over each bar. Koala bear still in it? Is anybody else? Here, there, just broke 40. Here, this is the morning move, people. If you didn't get out where I did, like literally have your hand in the button. It just doesn't make sense to hold something to make 30 more cents for it to bounce back 30 cents. That just, it just doesn't make sense. Frisco still in it. See if it breaks 30. Really nice call. All right, let's go over everything. And if you're in it, you're in it, but I think you should get out soon. And definitely if it doesn't break 30. And the market's not going to go anywhere till this afternoon, so that's fine. This one didn't do anything right, so it's good we didn't do it. Um, this one worked. This did a little bit of a move, but not much. And not much to say about everything, really. Everything just kind of looks like whatever. And Amazon ruined Whole Foods. It's too bad. Uh, all right, let's go over, oh, Facebook. Not much going on here. All right, let's quickly talk about the market. I quizzed everybody yesterday. I said, why was that such a bearish day in the market on Monday? One person emailed me Green Maverick. I gave him a clue. A bunch of you wrote stuff that was not wrong, but it wasn't what I was thinking. Any other thoughts about this day here on 319 before I just tell you? Let's go back and look at the day. So this was 319 here. This was 319 here. Any thoughts? Any thoughts by anyone? Is everyone still in love or half asleep or snowed in? Follow through on the gap. Well, you did have that. 
But I mean, you've had that other days. Here, let me blow this up. You've had that other days. Actually, really didn't have follow through. But the follow through would have been down all here. The follow through would have been, follow through means follow through overall. We did not really have that here, but it's just the market's resting until the Fed meeting. So if I don't, when I think of follow through, I mean follow through of the daily, not, not the day. Although you're correct, we kept going down on the day, that's true. Two seventy wiped out recent lows at two seventy. Oh, I see what you're saying here. Eh, I don't think this was an important area. You could you could look at it that way because of the twenty period moving averages here, and it went over the eight, and it did rally. After that, I see why you're notating that, Tioga, but. It's not really that significant. I mean, I can see how people could have thought that. It actually closed right there. It actually broke it, but closed there. So any other thoughts? Yeah, let's look at this chart instead, because I gave this clue to Green Maverick, and he ran with it. Look at the 15 minute. Look at this chart. Look at this chart and let's check the snowfall. I can't see out. What's on that chart? Yeah, it's laying. It's, at first it was kind of snow. It was a wet snow, but now it's laying on the ground. It's supposed to snow all night, all day, all night. Um, what's happening here? Mountain Girls got it. Selling. Beautiful. Mountain Girl and Green Maverick got it together. It's selling. It's straight down selling. Literally, we opened and sold off just all day, continuously. I mean, you had a small bounce here into 3 o'clock, but pretty much nothing. I mean, anyone that was short, the market just kind of just covered a little. I mean, no one bought that. There was no buying at all. No buying whatsoever at all in the market on Monday. It was straight selling and no buying. And you can't say that about a lot of days so far this month. In fact, you can't even say that about the day that everyone went crazy town. Uh, here, this day here, the market got bought. We did gap down, but the market got bought in the morning and didn't fall till, I don't know, one o'clock or something. I can't go back that far in my intraday charts. Um, actually, somebody send me that. I want to, somebody send me that 15 minute, if you got it. I can't go back into any of my charts for this. 2-5. Should have kept it. But someone send me that. Email it to me. But the 15 minute on 2-5. Anyways, the point is, though, that this broke late. Late in the day. And there was buying. And it broke late. And yes, we sold off here. But this was much, much different. The price action was much, much different here on Monday. It was not like this. I know we fell hard and that's fine, but this was just full on, full on selling. Right out of the gate, boom. In fact, we might've had one green bar to make that tail. Let's just look, 319. So weird, the tail looks strange. That doesn't even look right, hold on. Something screwed up there, 274.39. That doesn't look right. It's not here. Anyways, it was straight selling. I just looked at something here. 319. That was earlier in the day. That's what that was. Anyways, it was straight selling. Very powerful. Very, very powerful. And not what we've seen even the days when we've seen red days. 
okay, which we have seen red days obviously this year. So, um, you know, that was very noticeable to me at some point on Monday. It was, I don't know, after 11 or something, I don't know. Um, and I really was fully aware of that. And so, you know, I, I, I feel the heaviness in the market now. So, but I don't know what the Fed meeting says. So the, the minutes could come out and create a positive reaction where the market gets bought. But I wouldn't be surprised if we fall because the market looks heavy. We had straight full on selling, which may have just happened prior to the Fed meeting. So I don't think there was a reason this happened that had anything to do with Trump tweeting or anything that people were talking about on TV. I think it was selling before the Fed meeting on Monday, just boom. And I think that's really what happened. So where we go from here now, I don't know. And you really can't predict these things. It's like trying to predict where something will get. This GIS is gonna break. Where did this go? Oh, my Lanta, it went, it went to 57. That is so funny. I should have been a little more patient. Just didn't have it today. It was great, great trade, great call, went all the way down. Did anybody get it all the way down here? Any questions? The lower lows and lower highs is not something that I look at. It doesn't play a factor in anything that I do when I look at a chart. I know people look at that, so I'm aware of it, but it's not what makes any decisions for me. It's only the gap. But I read the price action, what's happening. Every time something gaps, how do you think I'm getting these entries so good? How do you think I'm reading three seconds into the open or 60 seconds into the open or five minutes into the open that something's going to work for us to take the trade or I move right off of it. I mean, I look at the gap and I read the gap. That's true. But I'm reading the price and how it's acting or I would never be able to make these phenomenal calls like I've been, whether we do it or I say off it. So, you know, either way, you have to take into consideration what's happening, buying or selling, and you got to be able to read it right. And I don't think these higher highs and lower lows and all that other crap really tells you because it's too confusing. If you look at the market here, you're confused. I'm not confused. The market's in an uptrend, but I don't know when we make a new high again. It doesn't really have any effect on me. If we do soon or we don't later, it doesn't really matter to me either way. But I disagree with a lot of people that if we fall down here and bounce, we're gonna get bought and go higher again. I don't think it's good for the market if we come back down here and retest this. I think if we do, we will break it and then it will be a, 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 quite a while till we make new highs again. We will still be bullish, even if that happens. But it is much better if the market just shoots off like a rocket and stays in this range, even if it takes a couple of weeks. Won't look that great if we come down here and retest it. And no one should be buying the market there. So don't do it. This is gonna set up, but again, it's really late. It's 10.04. All right, let's look what we have out for tonight, and then we're done, and that's the story. Um, any other questions? Classes this weekend, uh, if anyone wants to sign up, for those of you that just did it, if you wanna retake it, email me. Let's see what's out tonight. GES five ALTR. There is some decent stuff. Let's look at GES. Tomorrow morning is JKS ACN K. Uh, what did I just say? GES. Let's look at that. This might be interesting. All right, this is tonight. Again, I don't know what this does, but there it is. James, just email me. Any other questions?
questions. Barry, you didn't answer me, so I'm assuming that you did not do the Facebook. You and Galahad are becoming best friends now. Galahad didn't do it either. It was a quick, fast, big trade, and there's we don't we don't get those all the time. Some of those options take a couple days. Mountain Girl said, thank you. Another nice day and great call. Yep. Yeah. Everyone should be having a good week. Everyone should be having a good week. Does anyone have any questions about anything? <laughs> Barry isn't taking any more options until the sex change operation is over. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> Let's look at Google. Speaking of high flyers. Koala Bear held it all the way down to 57. Good for you. 56.95 you held it. Wow. Let's look at Google. Oh, how's Baba doing? That's the one I wanted to look at. Galahad, did you hold Baba? I forget. Barry, you're going to be Barbara. <laughs> I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. <laughs> Baba? If the market flies today, this will fly. This chart looks great. Called the option in this, swung down with the market, flipped around immediately yesterday. Did anyone kill it? Galahad, I forget. Did you stay with this or kill it? If you stay with Baba, it was back up again yesterday. These things can move. If this actually, uh, if the market actually ends up going today, this thing is going to fly. First and foremost, before anything else. Uh, you know, this is super strong. And it was not an earnings gap. But we did talk about it last week, whatever day that was. This was because of the market. Boom. Look at it. All right. Any questions from anyone about anything? I do not know what the market does today. I don't know what happens with anything. I don't know if I'm going to be on TV because there's been a shooter, a bomber. A, uh, there's other breaking news. No one cares about the market <laughs> when there's shooters and bombers. Um, so I'm around today, snowed in, going to enjoy myself here. Quality day, quality week. Things are going well. Look at this, it's still lower. Is anyone still in it? I guess this is why Koala Bear was writing it. It even broke here. It's going to break 90. Wow. Maybe I did get out of that too early. <laughs> Went more than 50 cents more. Any questions, anyone about anything? If not, I'm going to let everybody go. Watch some stuff tonight. Watch the market this afternoon. Be flat before 2. If you're in BABA, hold it through because it may fly up with the market if it rallies. If you're in Facebook and didn't get out yesterday, you're in it for the long trade now. Doesn't mean to get out of it today. It means if you're in it for the long trade into next month, okay? Good job, everyone. Actually, ended up was easy to follow me today. I didn't think it was going to, but it was. If you're interested in the class, email me, and I will see all of you. Whenever I see you. Turtle, did you do anything today? Did you do love? Brad, you're getting snow too in Pennsylvania. Gyro as well. Okay, Turtle. All right, have a good day, everyone.